Now that you've learned your first few notes on the saxophone, it's time to start digging in and learning your first cool melody. So today's lesson is exactly that. It's a brilliant, simple tune. It's a tune that I've written called Swing and Easy. It just uses like four or five notes. It's so easy to play, but it's a whole lot of fun. We're gonna do it on the alto saxophone. So get stuck in with this in the next lesson. This is actually from our saxophone toolkit uh, from Inside Sax School. Uh, I'll catch you at the end of the lesson. Just a heads up though, I didn't have my beard when I filmed this, so looks like young Nigel. Anyway, enjoy the lesson. I'll catch you at the end. Okay, let's get started learning our very first song on the saxophone. Now this lesson is for alto saxophone. I'm going to show you all the notes for my tune Swing and Easy on the alto saxophone. If you're a tenor player, then check out the next lesson which is just for tenor saxophone. So we're going to play a, a fun little jazzy tune called Swing and Easy. I tell you what, before I start showing you the notes, I'm gonna play it through with the backing track I've made for you so you can hear what it sounds like and then we'll go through and we'll learn it in easy steps. Here we go. Okay, it's a nice tune. It seems quite long, but you know what? It's so easy to learn. There's really only a, a couple of sections in this whole piece of music. So we're gonna get through this super fast. Okie dokie. So remember, you wanna be nice and relaxed, shoulders relaxed, your, mouth, your neck strap must be supporting the weight of the saxophone. And uh, if you're sitting down like I am, then don't have the saxophone resting on the seat. Instead, have a nice straight back and you can either have it between your legs like this or you can have it over to the side. Whatever feels comfortable for you. But most important is that the neck strap's holding the saxophone and your thumbs are just resting on the saxophone, not lifting it up. Now, we talked last lesson about the left hand using these three keys and the right hand using these three keys. And we're actually gonna start the very first note with three fingers down on the left, left hand, and that's the note G. And our first, very first phrase goes like this. It goes rest. G, A, which is two fingers, then up to B, which is one finger, back down to the G, which is three fingers again, and back up to the A, which is two fingers. So it goes like this, three, four, one. G, A, B, G, A. If you've got your saxophone with you, pick it up and try doing these fingers with me. So not blowing, just doing the fingers. So three, four, one. G, A, and then B, G, A. Let's try it again. Three, four, one. G, A, B, G, A. All right, you feeling brave? Let's try playing it through now. So, nice round embouchure, cushion over your lips, over your bottom teeth rather. Remember your top teeth must rest on the top of the mouthpiece and then make a seal with your lips like this around your mouthpiece. We're gonna start every note with a two I'm gonna use lots of air, so we're breathing really deep down to here, and think about pushing your air out from here as if you're coughing or, or I don't know, doing a sit-up or doing a big poo. So basically you wanna be pushing from these stomach muscles so everything here is very, very tight, okay? Here we go, so it's two, 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 two. Here we go, one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> Try it again. A one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> 
Okay, so we get to play that phrase that time, then we play it again. If you look at your music in bar three, we do it again. So three, four, one. And then we even do it a third time. Three, four, one. But this last time we finish by going G, A, C. So it's three fingers up to two fingers, and then the C is just the middle finger. So let's do that last phrase that ends with those G, G, A, C. So this is bar five in your music. A one, two, three, four, one. Okay, now if you're getting any strange sounds on your saxophone, if it's getting really squeaky, um, or if it sounds really raucous, then you might want to try using a little bit less mouthpiece. So pull the mouthpiece out of your mouth and put, have less of it in your mouth, okay? And that'll help the reed to be more controlled and sound a bit smoother. And if you're really struggling to get any sound out of your saxophone at all, it probably means that you're too tight here, so you need to relax all of this. Okay, relax all of this, let that reed vibrate. Don't squeeze the death out of that mouthpiece. Okay, let's try all of what we've learned so far, all put together. So this is starting at the beginning of our piece of music. Here we go, one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> And again, one. And the third time, one. And we hold that last C for an extra couple of beats. Awesome, well done. Well, you know, the good thing about this piece of music is it's very repetitive. So all that section that we've learned, which is from the beginning of the music, and if you count down every bar or every section between a, uh, a vertical line in the music, as it's called a bar, and there's four of those in each line at the moment, and we've just played through eight of them actually. So if you look at bar number nine uh, through to bar number 16, that's exactly the same as bar one to eight. So that means we get to do all of that again. So let's do all of it for the second time. This is as if we're in bar nine in our music. It's exactly the same as what you've just learned. Now this time, I really want you to think about keeping your fingers super close to those keys. So I keep my fingers off the keys when I'm showing you in the lessons, so it's easier for you to see. But when I'm playing, my fingers are touching the keys all the time. And that's definitely the best way to go. So from bar nine, one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> That's super cool, isn't it? So a really cool little melody, but it's only using, what, one, two, three, four notes. Awesome, you're doing great so far. There's one more quick section to learn. If you look at your music, it's down at figure B. And this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our right hand on. And we're gonna use our first finger of the right hand, add it to our left hand. So we've got three fingers with our left hand, one finger with our right hand, and this is the note F. And we're gonna go, we're gonna rest for the first two beats. We're gonna go rest, rest, and then F up to G, so we take that first finger off, and then up to A, and then back to the G, and back to the F. So it's rest, rest, F, G, A, G, F. Do you wanna try those fingers with me? So starting down here, this hand's all the way down, and we've got this one down too. So it's one, two, F, G, A, G, F. One more time, one, two, F, G, a, G, F. Can we try playing that? Here we go. So remember, this hand's all pushed down and we're adding our right finger here. So one, two. Now starting every note with a two, 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 two. One more time. So three, four, one, two. 
Okay. The next two bars are the same, but this time we're going to start down here with our two fingers of our right hand, and we're going to go rest, rest, E, F, G, F, E. So two fingers, up to one finger, up to just the left hand, and then back down again, F, E. So let's do those fingers again. One, two, E, F, G, F, E. Should we try that bit? One, two. Okay. And the last phrase in this section, we're going to add our third finger of our right hand, and this time we're going to go, we're going to go, uh, what are we going to do? One, two, D, that's a D, up to E, up to F sharp. This is a new note where we've got all of our left hand down and we've just got our middle finger of our right hand down. So one, two, three, and middle finger here, that's F sharp. So we're going D, E, F sharp, and then back to D, E, F sharp, G, up to A, and then up to B. So let's do those fingers again. So we go rest, rest, D, E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, and then B. Let's try playing that bit. That's a bit tricky. Here we go. So this is bar 21 in your music. And we go one, two. Let's try it one more time. Remember, keep this hand down. Keep your embouchure nice and round. Lots of support around the mouthpiece. Breathing really deeply and don't use too much mouthpiece, okay? So back it out of your mouth a little bit. Here we go. One, two. Okay, so let's do all of that second B section together. These are the last notes we need to know for the whole tune. So back to bar 17, we're going to start on the F, G, A, G, F. Here we go. One, two. One, two. One, two. Amazing. That's the B section. Awesome. And the last section we've got to do with this tune is the C section, and that's exactly the same as the first section we played, the A section. So let's play that, the C section, same as the A section, just to finish the tune off. So we go three, four, one. 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 There we hold that C for an extra eight counts for a long right to the end of the whole whole backing track. How's that sound? Brilliant. So I'm going to put the track back on again and play it through for you with the backing track. But this time I'd like you to try playing along with me. Okay. Okay. So keeping our fingers close to the keys, thinking about breathing deeply, thinking about having a round embouchure, and thinking about starting every note with a two two two. And also remember if it's getting squeaky bit less mouthpiece in your mouth, that'll help to make the sound sweeter. Are you ready? Here we go.
How do you get on with that? It's a great little tune, isn't it? Now, don't forget that you can use this lesson as many times as you need to. It's completely free. And I've even included the backing track at the end of the lesson there so you can use that to go back and practice as many times as you need to. Now, this is just a starting point. You've learned your first song now. You're going to want to crack on now and learn a whole bunch more techniques and a whole bunch more songs. There's tons in Sax School to help you with that. We've got a complete getting started course and over a thousand other lessons uh, and courses to uh, dig into. Now, there's a 14-day trial we're running at the moment. There's a link for that down below. So if you're curious, go check it out. But for now, go grab this lesson as your next step.